There's never been a black cop in this city. We think you might be the man to open things up around here. And boy, did he. The Spike Lee film Black Klansman is based on a true story about how a black police officer posed as a member of the Ku Klux Klan. Ron Stallworth is his name, and he was thinking way outside the box when he decided to take on this case. The story is about uh, the Ku Klux Klan trying to recruit people in 1978 Colorado Springs via a newspaper ad, a one ad, uh, and I responded to it, pretending to be one, uh, pretending to be a white supremacist. Stallworth says he dropped the letter in the mail, which he accidentally signed with his real name. He says he didn't think twice about it and wasn't expecting a response until he got a phone call back from a KKK member. Since you asked, I hate blacks. I hate Jews, Mexicans and Irish, Italians and Chinese. But my mouth to God's ears, I really hate those black rats and anyone else really that doesn't have pure white Aryan blood running through their veins. Then the game was on. They invited me to a meeting and I was forced, obviously, because of who I am and what I look like, I was forced to send a white officer posing as me. You for the white race, Ron? Oh, hell yeah. So there becomes a combined Ron, Ron Stallworth. Can you do that? With the right white man, we can do anything. The movie is based on a book Stallworth wrote about the case in which he shared conversations with then KKK Grand Wizard David Duke. They're actually, actually trying to eliminate and ethically cleanse our people from our own land. In the years after they talked, Duke went on to push a white nationalist agenda across the country and even held public office in Louisiana. Stallworth says his one regret was not being able to go public with the case, which he believes might have hurt Duke's image among his admirers. He would have had to answer to the people he was trying to appeal to mm. why he got conned by a black man. Mm. Um, I feel like had I been allowed to go public with this, uh, we might have been able to impact that. We'll never know, but I'd like to think that we might have. Everywhere he's been in the past 40 years, Stallworth has carried around a souvenir from this case, his official membership card to the Ku Klux Klan. It's a memento of my career. And if I'm ever in a car crash and my, uh, I die, some poor cop's gonna come up on my mangled body and he's gonna find this and just freak out. Are you still a standing member? No, this was just good for the year of 1979. <laughs> oh, it <All> sucks. Right. <laughs> his unlikely membership in a hate group may have long expired, but his story will now live on in this one-of-a-kind Oscar-nominated film. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.